What's going on everyone? Gilman with Live Wealthy Stocks back with our Tesla update video where we take a look at how Tesla stock traded today, support and resistance levels that we are looking at moving into the future, and based on that what we think Tesla stock could do. So it experienced the worst day um, since back in September 2020. So we'll take a look at how it traded today, relative weakness throughout the day. Um, but real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and comment down below what your thoughts on Tesla are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me pull up the chart on my computer here and hit record, and we will get right into it. So, um, you know, as I just said, we are down $66 on the day, um, which is about 8.55%. Um, this article here talks a little bit about, um, you know, Tesla leads electric vehicle sector down as investors test drive value stocks. So we're seeing a little bit of money movement into value stocks. We're also seeing a little bit of movement into stocks that were previously depressed. So if you take a look at airlines, cruises, right, those stocks were rocking today, but stocks that had done really well in all of 2020 um, during the pandemic time, you take a look at big tech, um, the NASDAQ was down about two and a half percent today, right? Um, so we're seeing a little bit of shifting around of money um, and a pullback that, you know, was definitely coming. So let's take a look now at what, you know, we are talking about in terms of support, in terms of resistance. But before we do that, what I do want to cover here is, you know, this article here that talks about, hey, Tesla is suffering the biggest fall since September 2020. They're down about eight and a half percent on the day. Um, and this is pretty much what I just said. They're betting on a pandemic comeback, rotated, rotated out big tech and piled into cyclical stocks. Um, the other thing that it could have taken a hit from was Bitcoin's fall today, um, as Elon Musk tweeted yesterday or two days ago, something about it being overvalued. Elon being Elon, right? It kind of contradicts what Tesla did. They invested a billion and a half dollars and Elon comes out and says, oh, um, might be getting too expensive. Elon being Elon, what are you going to do? So in, back in September 2020, you guys remember there was a day when it closed down a little bit over 10%. Um, so, you know, now today being down 8.5% was the lowest it's been, or the, the biggest red day we've had since September 2020, and pretty much that whole SP run that started the month after. So, it wasn't the only one, like I said, the NASDAQ was down 2.5%. So, we got Apple, Amazon, Microsoft all down more than 2%. NASDAQ was down 2.5%, like I said. Um, the Dow Jones was actually down a decent bit, but then reversed that to close the day slightly green. We'll take a look at that in just a second. I think it was led by Disney, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so um, coin was down about 6% after the bell Monday. So they bought a billion and a half. So they are, I mean, I think they're still up overall, but they were probably down a little bit today. So Let's take a look now at you know the levels of support, levels of resistance, how Tesla has been trading, and we can hopefully get an indication of where it could be going next. So again, down $66 on the day, 8.5%, down a little bit in, or excuse me, up a little bit in the after hours, but nothing close to what we lost in the day. NASDAQ was down 2.46%, Dow Jones was up 0.09%, and S&P was down 0.77%. So compared to all of that, right, Tesla's 8.5% was relatively very, very weak. Um, we are actually rapidly approaching that $700 mark, which is going to be a pretty, pretty important mental level of support. And then we've got a, another level of support coming in the 89 EMA and the 671. So let's cover that real quick where we see Tesla going. Um, but before we do that, let's cover kind of the daily um, move for Tesla. So if you guys remember... You know, when we closed here and I made the video, and if you want to know uh, a little bit more about Tesla updates, um, I made a video yesterday that covers their Bitcoin gain, a billion dollars, which as we saw today was erased a little bit. I talk about the India Gigafactory um, that they had as well, and then I talk about a, uh, a, th a third piece of news in that uh, Kathy Wood for, from ARK Invest invested um, more into Tesla. That's already their largest toting but they added a little bit. That's probably why ARK funds were also hurt today because of um, you know, how big of a holding Tesla is in their portfolio. But if we take a look here, um, we close in the 780s and we gap down decently right into the 760s. And then right out of the gate, we saw a push down to 750s um, and then you know, kind of close to our level, pushed up to 768. But pretty much since then it was a 
um, you know, just a push down. So first level we're watching is a 749. As you can see, we break through it, no problem. Don't even look back. Looks like we're about to go down to the 732 level. Then we turn around and guess what? We get perfectly rejected at the 749. If I zoom in here, guys, this level has been here for a while. It's not something I put on today. We had this in yesterday's video as well, right? Perfect, hit up against it, rejected, um, and then kept going down, 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 um, approaching that 730s level real fast, um, and then zooming in here, right? We break below it, we try to come above it, but can't sustain it, go down again. Again, same thing here, right? We take a little bit at the 717 level before kind of um, you know selling off into the close. As you can see in the in the after hours, we're hitting up right against that level um, and getting rejected. So really, really weak day for Tesla. Really, really weak day for the markets, especially big tech. Um, if you take a look, I mean, other than you know the the stuff that was up like airlines and cruises and what we talked about, right? But really big um you know gap between vwap and where tesla was end of day really nasty looking sell-off in the second half of the day which i don't like because that typically means you know there's maybe more to come um so that's not fun to look at um now let's get into the daily chart and see what we see so you know we talked about a couple things in yesterday's video and that was that you know we are we need to push up and really capture the 34 EMA and that would kind of set us up for a push towards 800 if not we could drop and and maybe see support at the 55 EMA so clearly we gapped down so we didn't even have a run at the 34 EMA and as we were approaching the 55 EMA it looked like it wasn't really going to stop so we broke below that and now we are kind of you know hanging out between the 700 and the 717 line of support that we have. So let's cover the downside um, since Tesla was relatively weak today. And then we will um, talk about, you know, what we can focus on if we see a little bit of a push up. So first things first, um, we are below our 717 level, which means that we are, um, you know, our next level of support is the six. I mean, I have 697 and 694. Um, which are kind of two small levels of support, but really the mental support that we're looking at now is 700. If we break 700, we do have a decent amount of run room, you know, potentially down to the 89 EMA at 671. So that's the level I'm looking at you guys is the 700 level um, kind of here. If we don't get that right, we've got other levels. Like I said, we've got the 697, 694, 678 and 6, 670 pretty much. Um, but really that 670, 89 EMA is the most solid level of support that we have. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. If we don't stop at 700 and keep falling tomorrow, we have run room down to the 89 EMA and the 670s. Now, those levels that I pointed out, right? 697, 694, 678, those are all still very valid levels of support. And I'm not saying that we don't stop at them, but I'm just saying from a, from a very, very solid line um, level of support, right? The 89 EMA is what I'm looking at. If you take a look here, Tesla has not really visited the 889 EMA pretty much since starting this, uh, you know, pandemic run, um, bounced off of the 55 EMA a couple times um, throughout the course of this trip but now we're below that and approaching the 89 EMA. So that's what I'm watching next. On the upside, however, we've got the first level of resistance at 717, then 732, and then 749. But the key here, again, is the 55 EMA coming in at 743. I think that's a really important level for us to take over. Um, the reason being, you guys, is um, not the EMA. I want to get rid of the drawings here for just a second because I want to point this out to you guys. Again, going back, if you take a look at this line right here, right? Early September, we bounced from that. Late September, we bounced from that. October and early November, we bounced off of the 55 EMA, right? So if we can get above this 55 EMA, hopefully these levels that we bounced off of here, we can have a similar bounce. So again, my key focus is the, the two EMAs that I mentioned. If we can make a push, get above the 55 EMA 743s, or if we go down to visit the 671s. Now, not dismissing these levels of support and resistance that we have, again, first level 717, second level 732, and then 749, right? But before 749, we capture the 55 EMA. So I think next couple of days are really crucial to see if we 
break 700s on the way down, or if we can hopefully capture the 55 EMA in the 740s, establish that as a level of support, maybe solidify a little bit before we start to move up again. Today was a very, very red day. Um, which is not, again, not really typical for Tesla. And typically when we do have large red days, they're followed by decent green days. So again, I'm hoping for a push up tomorrow, um, capturing the 55 EMA while also understanding that that doesn't have to happen. And if we break the 700 point, that could get kind of ugly for us. So with that in mind, um, hope you guys have had an amazing, hope you guys had a good trading day today. I know I had a red day in my portfolio. Um, but that's okay. It's a part of the game, right? So that's all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop that like, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what your thoughts on Tesla are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day, and until next time.